Hi guys and gals, Froggy here. I've got a um, got a little jacking tip for you today, and this is um, sort of specific to uh, C5 Corvette, uh, probably the C6 also, and uh, maybe even the C4. But anyway, let me get to it and show you. I've got the car jacked up in the front, left and right side driver and passenger side with um, some floor jacks and I've got uh, they're at the jacking points which is a very good place to jack it up and uh, I'm using some jacking pucks which I think I've showed you in some other videos I, I want to go to the back and I want to show you something um, lately in instead of jacking the car on the rear jacking uh, the, the rear tie down points or jacking points which is right about where my toe is right there on each side uh, you could also jack it in the middle underneath the uh, rear subframe but I'm going to show you something if you jack it with this small harbor freight uh, it's rated for 3,000 pounds, so it's got a high enough rating. But this saddle area here, it's a little smaller than most of my other floor jacks. So that saddle area will actually fit right in between these two, the front part and the back part of the subframe so that when you jack it up if you just barely catch I want to show you this let me make sure it's in frame there I think I think that is if you just catch the rear lip like that or if you just catch the front lip like that and if the car moves a couple of millimeters Let's see if I can make this happen. The jack, there, the jack can fall in between the two, the front part and the back part. You see how it's in between? Now that can scare the stuffing out of you. If it if it happens, it happens with a big loud bang, and probably wouldn't be dangerous or do any damage but still it, it it scares you so if you're using this jack with a small saddle like that um, <laughs> and you know how I found this out right <laughs> yeah you know how I found this out what you want to do is take a piece of wood the long way like that and put the put a piece of wood across that front part and the back part of the subframe and then you can jack it up see and it's not going to go anywhere but I just wanted to give you that little tip um, and uh, I, I found it out the hard way but uh, no damage done now if you use if you jack in the back right here with a bigger saddle on the jack it won't matter just make sure you've caught the front lip and the back lip um, a bigger saddle will uh, span that distance I don't know what the distance is it looks like about three and a half inches or three inches maybe um, that'll work okay but if you have a small saddle stick a piece of wood under there and uh, then you won't be surprised like foggy was Anyway, if this helps you out, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more from Froggy, subscribe to my channel. It's free. Uh, you guys and gals, uh, have a good weekend. Froggy out.